Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can defeat the Ender Dragon using non-maxed out gear. By non-maxed out gear, I mean you're not using full diamond armor or maximum enchantments. This is because some people might not have enough time to find full diamond armor or the materials to make it, or to get the maximum enchantments. So let's start. Okay, so these are the things I'm going to be bringing. You'll notice I have some iron armor and some diamond armor. Full protection for all those pieces, and then Feather Falling 4 for these. That's because you tend to fall off the pillars sometimes while you're fighting the Ender Dragon. Then, I'm bringing a Fire Aspect 2 and Sharpness 2 sword. A Infinity 1 Power 2 bow, and then an arrow. I'm also bringing some food, some Ender Pearls, and a Water Bucket in case you start to fall. For potions, I'm bringing Swiftness, Regeneration, Potion of Healing, and Potion of Strength. Potions are very crucial when fighting the Ender Dragon. I'm also going to bring five golden apples. Not the notch apples, just the regular ones. Also some blocks and a pickaxe. And these are for the portal. After you arrange your Eye of Ender into the portal like this, what you're going to want to do is jump in. It'll look like this as if you're entering the nether. While you're in here, you will see lots of Endermen. They will not hurt you unless you hurt them, but the Ender Dragon is going to try and hurt you. So try to avoid looking the Enderman in the face. And you're going to want to start destroying... You're going to want to start destroying the towers. The reason I have a Fire Aspect Sword is because if you start hitting the Enderman, then they will uh, be too busy being on fire to start attacking you. So, let's show that off. You'll see that the Enderman is just teleporting around. He will try and kill you after that, though. You're going to want to take out all of these crystals as they heal the Ender Dragon. You will also mostly take out the Ender Dragon with projectiles to shoot the end crystal right there. Since we can't shoot it very easily, what we're going to do is we're going to try to Ender Pearl up there. That's going to miss, but that one might not. They'll both miss. So, we're going to keep trying until we make it up there. What you're going to do is place down a water bucket and then some blocks for you to stand on. You're going to want to shoot the end crystal. But be sure you don't let the ender dragon near you because he will destroy your water source. So your top priority is not to let the ender dragon near you. Then you're going to try and destroy the end crystals. And this is important because you don't want the Ender Dragon to have infinite health. So once you destroy all the end crystals, what you're going to want to do is build yourself a small little hole that you can hang out in. And you're going to want to stay in this hole. And this way the Ender Dragon can't knock you back. And you're just going to want to start shooting at the Ender Dragon. Now, don't, like, waste all your arrows if you don't have an Infinity Sword. If he starts heading towards you like that, just shoot at him, and you'll probably hit him. But if you're, like, more experienced with a bow, and you know where your arrow is going to hit go every time, then you can just shoot at him. Once you get the Ender Dragon's health really low, and you deliver the final shot to it, then you'll notice that it starts making a weird shape like that and you'll hear some weird sounds. Then, experience will start falling, and you'll get easily 50 levels with this. Once you get the experience, then what you're going to do is pillar up here, and try not to get too close to the uh, to the portal, 
Then you're going to want to just punch the egg. Then what you'll do is you're going to want to dig out a space several, several blocks deep. Once you have your space, you're going to want to drop, break the block under the uh, egg, fall into the hole with the egg, and you can actually mine the egg since it has nowhere to teleport to. There you go. You now have the dragon egg. Once you've mined some of your endstone, however much you want, you're just going to want to go back into the overworld. And then the credits will roll. You've officially finished the game. Congratulations. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If it helped you, please leave a like or a comment and subscribe for more episodes like this. Goodbye.